At eight years old, my guest heard the parable of the talents, upon which she asked God to give her the talents of writing and wisdom. That's heavy for an eight-year-old, don't you think? At age 10, she had a letter to the editor published. She's had her poetry published in national publications and has won several awards from the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, the JCDC, for her literary skills. This journalist has had to face great difficulties, challenges, and pain. Leaving sixth form because she was too poor, the loss of a son, the diagnosis of autism of another, and having to deal with cancer when it took her loved ones. Maya Chung is a journalist, author, philanthropist, and mother. Good evening. This is Profile. I am Faye Ellington. Well, 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 it is such a pleasure to have Maya Chung sitting across from me. I haven't seen her or heard of her in media for a long time. Hello, lady. Hello, what you've madam. Given up, you've given up on journalism or what? I would never give up on journalism. Uh, I've been absent or out of the spotlight for about two years, actually. Um, I'm in a healing space because I recently lost my entire support system one behind the other my pastor described it as my job years in 2016 <clears throat> after a few years of um walking with her uh through her battle with cancer lost my mother in 2016 in three the day my mother died my father started to bring up blood from a trip from egypt um brother called me because he had moved to london back where he grew up died three months later and um one year exactly june 2017 my mom's mom died so um my pastor is reverend devon dick <coughs> and um my church has been behind me and he said boy I'm he was speechless don't, don't don't even ask about me and he said, this, these are your job years. <clears throat> and you became a Christian in 2017. I actually was. I am a Christian because yeah. I define Christian in this uh, particular way. When you travel and you have to fill out a form, right? <laughs> yes. What would I put? I've never, I would never put anything. I actually became baptized in 2017. Ah, you mm -hmm. became baptized in 2017. I've always been a Christian. Been? Um, it hasn't been any different because I, I revered, served, and only believe in God. And I know everybody has their take on religion. That's why we stay away from religion and we stay away from political arguments. The journey has been no different because if there's, I have a hashtag on social media and it's real. It's been real since I've had conscious thought, no God, no Maya. The journey, he has been with me because I know that there are people, <clears throat> knowing how close I was to my parents, mm. who actually are quite shocked that I have lost my mind. You've been through a lot before, and you prayed for wisdom from you were very young. So I believe you have that strength and that courage and that wisdom. Could we talk a little bit, though, I don't, uh, about your early years? Where, where were you born and where did you grow up? I was born at a place called the St. Joseph Hospital. <laughs> and prior to my mom, who was a career civil servant, getting her house in a place called Simmons Park, which is Waterhouse proper, we lived in the communities of Patrick City, Doheny Park. I was a regular, regular kid. Um, in fact, we hardly had any money, but the money that we did have was for school and for food. And school, primary school, which one was it? I actually went to a, pr 